game ended. The first half was awful for the Lady Zebras. Yeah, and uh, they did a, they did a good job coming back in that second half, and uh, they managed. Like I said, the court, Southwood kept it tight. They they uh, played pretty good defense, and, and Rochester made a few mistakes, but they corrected them and yeah. were able to get a couple key baskets down the stretch that uh, kept the lead for them. Rochester six and three, two and zero oh in the conference. Southwood two and four. This is their first game in the TRC. The interviews with Coach Fluger and uh, Coach Chad West coming up next. Ninety-two point one WROI. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd's Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader comprehensive care from head to toe online at woodlawnhospital.com please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production welcome back to the pregame show here on WROI Chad West Lady Knights head coach for the Southwood High School and coach you come in at two and four um, your first surprisingly enough this is your first conference game of the year where you know, when, when Chad, when Peru and McConaughey came into the conference, it, it seemed like to me they had virtually all their conference games at the beginning of the season and none at the end. And it's surprising to me because that's kind of still the same way. So it's surprising to me that Southwood hasn't played any of the conference yet. Yep, which uh, we're thankful for because we needed several games to get ready for a TRC opponent. Um, but you're right, a lot of them have multiple games under their belt. Um, and you guys have nine games in and yeah. we're only six in. So a little bit of a disadvantage, but we know we needed that. We need as much practice time as we can get just to work on the new system that I'm trying to put in. Um, we're very inexperienced, very young. Uh, so that as well, we, we just need as much time as possible to prepare. Well, you talk about practice time. You didn't very, get very much practice time this week. No, we've, uh, <laughs> we've got the NBA schedule this week. We played uh, Monday night. Um, we had a home game against Madison Grant, which was decided in the last seconds. We lost by three. Um, and then Wednesday we played at Eastbrook, and that was a very physical, very tough game. So uh, Thursday we wanted to go really hard, but we were bruised so badly that we decided not to. So uh, went really short yesterday. Uh, so hopefully we're prepared. We've got a lot of shots up, and that's what's been hurting us lately. So with that being said, how, do you, how are your legs today? Well, thankfully we've got some depth. We play 10 at the varsity level. Um, unfortunately, one's out tonight. Uh, she got hurt in one of the games this week. Uh, so nine tonight, but we actually, that is our strength. We are, we're pretty athletic. Uh, we're really fast. We've got some really good stamina. We, we decided we knew that would have to be one of our strengths. So we're not, uh, we're not scared of it. Uh, we tried to alleviate it a little bit in practice to help, but um, I th we're, we're in really good shape. Okay. So we're, uh, we're ready to go. Chad, one of those games out of your six it was Northwestern. How good are they? They are better than that score even <laughs> leads on. They, and we've talked about it as a team even. They took it easy on us. She called them over um, to her bench with about three minutes to go in the first quarter and got out of the press. Um, and by midway through the second quarter, she wouldn't let them out of the three-point arc on defense. They didn't take a three in the fourth quarter. She didn't play her starters in the fourth quarter. Um, they're just incredibly, incredibly good. They're very tall, they're very smart, they're very fundamental, and very athletic. Um, and they play well together. Uh, so that's a really good combination to have. They're fun to watch. If you get a chance to watch them, you need to watch them. <laughs> not, from, not from the opposing yes, bench, though, right? You don't necessarily <laughs> want to play them to watch them, but uh, yes, very good team. Chad, tell me about your kids. A great group of kids, first and foremost. I've told them I would happily lose 23 games this year. Um, with this group of kids. They come in ready to work every day. We, uh, we started 2-0, and um, and the mood after the Pioneer game, which was our second game, was one of the better moods I've ever seen in a locker room. We were glad we won, but they still knew tomorrow when we come back, we know we've got to work on this, this, sure. and this. They, they are determined to get better. Um, We've decided the way we've put it is we're never going to let winning be an excuse to not get better, and we're never going to let losing discourage us from getting better. We know we're going to win some. We know we're going to lose some. 
Um, we're keeping our eye on the, uh, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, which is sectional. We'd love to win a sectional championship. You know, you look up and down your roster here, and I don't see a lot of 12s. And in fact, I don't think I see any 12s, but I see a lot of 9s and 10s. You are correct. We, are, we have one, one senior on the varsity, um, and she plays sparing minutes. Mm -hmm. um, our core seven has been four sophomores and three juniors. And I think we had 42 total points return, and most of that was scrap points. So very, very young, um, which... You know, we, that's the hand we're dealt, so that's what we're dealing with. We, uh, we don't talk about it too much, um, but it's definitely there, just that inexperience, and we're going to have to learn how to win. You know, I've always told my kids, my, my three kids, I'm okay with getting, letting, uh, I'm not okay with your butt getting kicked, but what are we learning from it? Exactly. That, and that's, that's what we said after Northwestern and Oak Hill, you know, is there's worse things than losing. Sure. It's did you not learn from it yeah. is what we yeah, said. Yeah. So. Um, and, and kind of similar to that is, you know, always take care of the things you can control. You can always play hard. You can always play your best defense. And so that's what we build upon is playing a good, aggressive defense, always playing hard, always running the floor, always cutting as hard as you can. Because some nights you, you just don't shoot as well yeah, sure. as other nights. Sure. So don't let that discourage you. Um, and offense is harder than defense. It just takes time to work on offense, and it takes time to get used to each other, your teammates. and and the system that I'm trying to implement. So until we get there, focus on the things that we can be good at no matter what, and that's good defense and good effort. Right, sure. Chad, tell me about Rochester. Well, uh, we think it's going to be very competitive. We think it's uh, two contrasting styles. I think um, she wants to play a little bit slower pace, more controlled, run a lot more sets, um, and that's uh, definitely more towards personnel. Um, a certain daughter of yours, <laughs> Uh, it's definitely going to be a big load for us. She's a very good post. She finishes very well. Um, and she can step out and hit some shots on us, too. And uh, rebounding has killed us in all four of our losses. Uh, so that's going to be a big key as well. Um, but def the pace, the speed, I would say, is going to be the – if we can play our speed, I think we'll make the guards a little bit more uncomfortable um, and take away the height advantage as yeah. much as we can. Um, but they're used to winning. That's another thing, that uh, at six and three, they've become accustomed to winning already. So, and more seniors, you know, they've got a little bit more of senior leadership on us. So we're hoping we can play physical fast um, to use that to our advantage. You know, I think you nailed it on the head there. When, when certain teams step on the court, they expect to win, where some younger teams, maybe yours, maybe not, uh, hope to win. That's a big deal. Yep. yep, you're right. There's a difference between wanting to win and knowing how to win and expecting to win. Um, and they're different mentalities. And um, I think you guys are definitely getting where you expect to win. You know you can win. Um, you've learned how to win some close games already, uh, whereas we're still in that hoping and wanting yeah. to. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately for us, sometimes you have to learn the hard way how to win them. You've got to lose some of those close games first. So we've done that twice already this week. Hopefully that's enough to pull out a close one tonight. But. Um, but, yeah, I expect a competitive game. Um, just hopefully we can uh, come out on top tonight. Yeah. So tell me again, Chad, what do you guys have to do tonight to win? Uh, it's definitely going to be the pace um, while still being under control. Uh, we, we need to have really aggressive defense, uh, force a lot of turnovers that leads to easy points. We've been forcing a lot of turnovers that, unfortunately, we're not converting into points. We'll get steals and then turn it right back yeah. over or steals and miss a layup or steals and get fouled and then only make one or no free throws. So we've got to convert points out of our defense will be the biggest key for us. Uh, stay out of foul trouble um, and just play as fast as we can and not turn it over too much at that speed. Well, then still not letting the height disadvantage right. hurt us. We've right. got to rebound. Okay. We've got to rebound. Your five starters. Uh, it's going to be McKenna Pace, Aaron Lehner, Morgan Farr, Alyssa Pershing, and Wally. What's Wally's real name? Kayla May. Sorry, we call her <laughs> Wally. Chad, I appreciate your time. Best luck to you guys tonight. Good luck to you the rest of the year. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Southwood Lady Knights head coach Chad West back with more of the pregame show after this on 92.1 WROI. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com.
RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Welcome back to the pregame show here on WRY, Lady Zebra head coach Lisa Fluger joins us. And Lisa, back at home tonight uh, with another conference uh, matchup, this time with the Southwood Lady Knights. But let's go back to Culver, a game that um, struggled for the most part for the first half. Uh, if it wasn't for Moe's half quarter at the buzzer, we wouldn't be up by 10, but we were up by double digits. But then something happened. Something happened in the locker room that, uh, and maybe it was something you said, maybe it was, wasn't, but they flipped a switch and then really turned it on in the second half. Well, and we give credit to the kids at that point. We, we walked in, it was the shortest halftime speech or <laughs> discussion I think we've had all year. And we just walked in and, and as a staff and just looked at him and said, uh, this is on you. This is all on you. You know, and you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna go crazy and yell and scream and just throw try to motivate you. At this point you need to motivate yourself. You know, and, and if, if you're happy with what just happened out there and you wanna just coast through this, win by six or eight, you know, or maybe even get beat. You know, then this is on you. Mm -hmm. And we actually walked out and we left it with the kids. And then I heard that they they all each spoke and talked. And, you know, I think, it's, I think it was a growth moment for them instead of having the staff and especially myself, you know, running up and down the sideline and just trying to get them in stances, trying to get them to do the details. You know, we just threw it back to them and um, they responded. So, you know, we get caught up so much in, in sports of focusing on the negative, and I, we could talk, and thank you for not asking about what the score was 8-5 to five in the first quarter. It's usually the first question I get. But, you know, focusing on the positive is we challenged them. Sure. And they responded, sure. and, and we're blessed that they did. So with that being said, and you come back and win by, I don't know, 35 or 40 or whatever it was, how, how was practice the last uh, two and a half days? last two and a half days have been, I have to say, probably um, some of my favorite practices. I feel like we're getting deeper. Um, not only in our bench, but deeper in our playbook um, and able to grow further beyond, you know. Feeling like the stuff that we thought should be core two to three weeks ago, um, we're past that. And so it feels good, you know, to be able to call more than five or six things. Sure. Um, and it also feels good to be able to go to the seventh or eighth or ninth set with some subs in. And, and I think we've challenged them on that, in, mm -hmm. you know, in the last couple of games. And we weren't deep enough, obviously, in the Winnemac game, and, and that was, was a heartbreaker for us. Um, and we learned from that. So they've been challenged the last week. Lisa, tell me the conversation between you and Mo and, and you and Macy when, when you guys are watching tape and they, th that defense, any defense, is in that 2-3 zone, and that 2-3 zone is below – the volleyball line. What's your discussion with them? We we talk about there. There's two different types of defenses in a zone. It's either a laning defense, right, or it is a sagging defense. And so we have certain things that we do based on those two scenarios. And I think we as coaches know what that is, and we know what we want to run. It's getting them to understand why we run what we run. And so people are going to sag on us, and we know that. We've known that. I knew that May 2nd when we started, you know, yeah. having your kid and having Emma and having Kinsey. You know, you got three six-footers. You know, you throw those kids in there, and people are going to zone us, and they're going to sag. You know, and Culver, they were double and triple teaming Kennedy, as we well know. Um, they were just suffocating her, literally. And so, you know, we've got stuff that we've had to, you know, we will put in, and we've actually adapted because of that. And we haven't had a lot of that until the last couple of games. Yeah, and I think that it, that that's what makes a, a, a shooting three even more important. Yeah, we have to have an outside game along with our yeah. inside game. We're not, we're gonna, we're not gonna live and die by the three. We probably shot more threes than we ever wanted to shoot in the Culver game. Um, but yet we were 50%, 10 of 21, I think it was. Um, but we're not gonna do that every night, Dave, and everybody knows that. So, but but they were basically begging you to shoot the three. They were. I mean, they they were maybe not the three, but they were definitely given basically begging you to take the fifteen to nineteen footer. Right. You know what we've been trying to do is do other things where we're attacking the rim off, off the dribble, um, and we just weren't able to do that when you go against a sagging team, yeah. and that's okay. Yeah. You know that's a challenge to us. We got to knock down shots. Every team has to knock down shots when your opponent wants to sag on you. Um, we also have to look for other opportunities to get Kennedy to the ball, but you know we got four other kids out sure. there. You know, and I talked to Kennedy about here, here's your role. 
you know, when you're double and triple team, here's what you do for the team. You know, don't worry about catching the ball. You know, you're going to do these three things, and she knows what that right. is. You know, Charlie got in the game late there in the fourth quarter, and, and I think, I think she scored her first varsity points of her high school career. Her first um, field goals is what it is, okay. I guess. I stand corrected because Val said the same thing to me. I think she had two free throws or something okay. in an earlier game. <clears throat> Charlie, um, Charlie, Charlie is what I call her. She is just, uh, she is a treasure for us to have. I'm so excited. We are so excited. You know, we, it took us some time to talk her into playing, and um, she's just an athlete. And this is what Rochester Ladies' Ease is about, you know, is we want our kids that are, that are athletes to want to play multiple sports, you know, and not just focus on one sport because they really can't help yeah, their team and sure. their school and their community. Um, and Charlie is a living example. The best part about this, David, we've got to tell you, man, we're sitting in practice day after Culver, and we're running something, a different defense, and um, Charlie is that point guard going against the top, going against our starters on varsity. And all of a sudden I said go, and they didn't come guard her because they didn't think she was going to shoot. She just knocks down a three from the top of the key like it was just nothing. So the two, the four points she had from Culver the night before, you could tell gave that kid some confidence yeah. and she was smiling about it. You know, I've heard her say, uh, I'll play defense for you all night long. I just don't want to play any offense for you, which unfortunately in this game it, it comes goes hand in hand. But I can see Charlie turn it into one of those uh, Karina – Sierra type of players where she chases their best all over the floor. Yeah, and she does that. She comes in behind those two now, you know, as a sophomore who had no varsity minutes last yeah. year. And she's probably, you know, of our three young ones, she's probably got more minutes sure. than them. Um, and so it, she just, she does that. We're, we're looking for, I call it a defensive quarterback, okay? We have a point guard on our offense as our quarterback. But you look for a different person to be your defensive quarterback. And, and those three kids are our defensive yeah. quarterbacks. Yeah. Tonight, Southwood, tell me about the Lady Knights. You know, th this is a group that I know they're young. I know that they beat us by 10, I think, last year. Um, and they were real solid, lost some seniors last, from last year. But they're young kids. Um, you know, they've got a couple juniors. Um, they don't have the height we have. I think their tallest one is 5'11". Mm -hmm. um, but they play a lot of what we do, the five out. You know, they're going to they're gonna drive and kick. They're going to pass and cut, that kind of stuff. Um, they like to spread it out and really try to drive the gaps. And we've worked on it. We've worked on how we're supposed to defend. You know, I'm going to keep preaching, man. I know everybody, you know, says, oh, you can win more games going zone. I know, I get that. But, you know, for us to go further, we, we've got to beat good teams with man. So we're going to continue to try to get better at man tonight against them. I, I see 5'11", I see 5'10", uh, but what is their perimeter game like? Uh, the perimeter game is more drivers. They've got two, de two really good shooters. matter of fact, in uh, Laner, the number 14, Pace, number 10. Um, you know, Laner honestly should shoot more threes. She's hitting, you know, a third of them, and she's only shot nine uh, in all their games. And then uh, Pace is 6 of 22 at 27%. So those two were going to play as shooters, and the others were going to play as drivers, basically. Okay. Lisa, what are you guys going to do tonight to win? Um, we got to put pressure on the ball. We've got to make them catch and, and, and put the ball on the ground. Um, and then we've got to close out and deny, and we've just got to put pressure all over the place in the half court. You know, we're going to get out and press, and we're going to pressure, and we got to get better at that. We've not been very good at that. Um, and we also have been working on our conditioning. I told the girls we're back to conditioning. You know, I'm tired of us kind of, you know, dying out in the third and fourth quarter because we've played so hard in the first half. Yeah. So um, we're going to work on that, and we're going to try to rest some people. Um, but we're mainly going to go guards and we're going to pressure. You know, we're going to have a three guard front. We'll have uh, Macy Moan Karina again and then uh, Kennedy and Emma, of course. Okay. Lisa, thanks for your time. Good luck. We'll talk to you after the game. Thanks, Dave. Lady Zebra head coach Lisa Fluger back with more of the Farm Bureau Insurance pregame show on 92.1 WROI. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherds offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today, online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. And if I hit sophomore number 25, 
Back at Rochester High School, time now for the starting lineups. First for the Southwood Lady Knights, they have a record of two and four. One guard will be a 5'5 five, five sophomore, McKenna Pace. The second guard, a 5'7 sophomore, Aaron Lehner. And the third guard will be a 5'6 junior, Morgan Farr. At one forward, a 5'11 junior, Alyssa Pershing. And the other forward will be a 5'8 junior, Kayla Mays. Southwood coach for Mr. Chad West. For the Rochester Lady Zebras, they have a record of 6-3 overall, 2-0 in the TRC. At one guard will be a 5'7 sophomore, Macy Brown. The second guard, a 5'6 senior, Morgan Ruff. And the third guard, a 5'7 junior, Karina Peterson. At one forward, a 6'2 senior, Kennedy Musselman. And the other forward, a 6-foot senior, Emma Dahlquist. Rochester coached by Lisa Fluger. JV game tonight again went to Rochester over Southwood, 1914. Claire Bright was 6. Also tonight, the Rochester guys in action. They're at LaVille. Uh, the JV game went to Rochester over LaVille, 50-39. to 39. Uh, Cavalry Lingenfelder had 11 for the Zebras. The varsity just turned away, as is uh, this one. Georgia putting a whipping on Auburn. What is it now? I didn't, haven't checked in it a while. It was 28-7 last I knew. Yeah, well, of course, I say that, and I'll go back and look, and it's probably 28-28. <laughs> that was a good ball game, though. 28-7, final. Yeah. That was a good game. So it'll be Dahlquist and Pershing to jump center. Rochester in their home whites. And Southwood in their road reds. Brad South Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Southwood virtually just conceding the uh, tip, going with everybody in a defensive <laughs> posture. <laughs> and Musselman gets the tip out to Macy Brown, right wing. Macy drives into the basket, 10 feet away, loses the handle. Ball loose on the floor. Ball still loose. We're going to have a tie-up. Southwood going to get it. So, in turn, basically Southwood did kind of win the tip. Yeah. Creating a turnover on their first Rochester's first possession. Southwood or Rochester steps up in a full court press. Pace will look to get it in. Does so to Laner. Laner right in front of the Southwood bench. Gives it back to uh, Farr. She crosses the timeline left against Moe. Bounce pass to Pace. Pace against Macy Brown. Works to the right wing to Mays. Mays just inside the three-point line. Goes to the basket. Loses the handle. Gets it back. Pace. Five-footer is good. Basket four. Well, she drives like that. Kennedy's not going to be able to pick, keep up with her. So Southwood up 2-0, 30 seconds gone in the first quarter. Ruff against a double team. Loses the handle, picked up by Southwood. Now outside to Laner. Laner will take the 10-footer, no good. And the rebound is going to go out of bounds. The ball's going to go out of bounds and go back to Rochester. So Rochester with two turnovers on two trips. Yeah, not a good start. Not the, not the start Coach Fluger yep. wanted. Southwood now in a full-court press. Moe over the top to Macy. Now to Musselman. Kennedy just about loses it, but gives to Morgan as she sets up the uh, offense between the rings against 2-3 zone. Musselman at the free throw line. Turnaround jumper is off the back of the rim. No good. Of course, she falls away and starts running the other end without following, following her shot. And now Southwood coming the other way. Pace to Laner. Laner against Peterson. Dribbles right in front of the Rochester bench. And the ball is tipped away, but right back into the hands of Laner against Musselman. And Pershing and Musselman's tied up. Rochester going to get it back. Nice job by Kennedy. She turned around, stuck the ball on her face. She just grabbed a hold of yep. it. Four court press by the Knights. Mo gets it inbounds. Gets it ahead to Peterson. Karina crosses the timeline left. Goes inside the three-point line. Now backs it outside. Bounce pass to Mo in left wing. Mo drives left elbow. Jump pass to Musselman. Her jumper from the elbow is good. They got the free throw line and we're tied at two. 6.20 to play in the first quarter. We're tied at two. Macy Brown then steals the pass. Back door to Mo. Layup. Right-handed. Good. Full court press by the Sabres. Up by two now. Inbounds pass comes into Pace. Pace crosses the timeline right. Gets a great screen from Mays and then throws it behind the backboard. It didn't touch anything. And Dawk was at the rebound. Somebody ran right into Musselman. Kennedy didn't move and somebody else did. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's going to happen more times than not. Dahlquist being double teamed in the baseline and then throws it away. Pace with the basketball. Pace, right side of the floor. And then loses it out of bounds. Going to go back to Rochester. Lady Zebras up 4 2, 547 to play in the first quarter. And it has been fast already. Yeah, I think that, with, that works in Rochester's favor. Well, right I mean, now, Southwood is, this is the third game of the week. Yeah. So you're right. Well, that, you know, Rochester's got the experience, they've got the size. Moe around the horn to Peterson. High on the right side. She can't dribble. Oh, she got away with it. Peterson on the right wing. Still dribbling against a double team. Gives to Macy Brown to the free throw line. Macy has her shot blocked. Musselman picks it up.
Kennedy. Jumper on the way from 10 feet. Hits nothing but a little backboard. And then we're going to have a tie up, and it's going to go back to Southwood. Let's go. Let's go. 5.22 to play, and Sierra Weathers will come in for the first time for Rochester after the next dead ball. Pace breaks the press easily, crosses the timeline right, being chased by Morgan. Ball being tipped around. Macy Brown picks it up and now brings it up the floor. Rochester up 4-2. Brown around the defense to Peterson high on the right side. Karina almost loses it out of bounds, gets it back, dribbles through traffic against the double team. And now we're going to have a foul finally on the official from across the court instead of the official that happened, it happened right in front of him. <laughs> this, is how we're gonna, this is what we're going to de yeah. deal with tonight, huh? Well, Pace picks up her first team first. Peterson in, and Pe uh, make that Peterson comes out and weathers in. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Five to play in the first quarter, Rochester by two. That's why they put three of them on the floor. It's getting too fast for three of them. <laughs> Musselman down low, backs her way in against Mays. Her shot, good, and foul! <laughs> Kennedy at the line to shoot one and try to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Pershing will pick up her first. Kennedy has four, looking for her fifth. Senior eyes it, flies it, buys it. Yeah. End of the game for the first time is Helfen. Helfen comes in for Southwood and coming out is Mays. Just under five to play in the first quarter. Rochester up seven to two. And their ball is loose in the backcourt. Southwood picks it up over the top to Pershing. Pershing runs for Southwood. All the way to the baseline and Moe trailing the play just a little bit, by design I believe, knocks the basketball out of bounds. Well, by, I think maybe by her own design, because she kind of looks lost out there on the full court press. Oh, wide open three for Pace, right wing, no good. Weathers grabs the board, hands off to Mo. Rough runs, middle of the floor, through the center circle, at the volleyball line, not the three point line, around the defense to Macy Brown, down low to Musselman, being double teamed. Kennedy throws a shot up off the side of the backboard, we, and it's safe from going out of bounds by Dahlquist. Great play by Dahlquist. Now to Mo, straight away three, top of the key, off the back of the rim, no good. Dahlquist put back, good! Emma Dahlquist gets the bucket, she keeps the ball alive. That was all great, Emma on great, that one. Great possession. And now Southwood, Dahlquist. sorry, Southwood will take a timeout, it's a 30. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Playing at Oville, and Oville leads right now with two minutes to play in the first quarter, 12 nothing. Wow. Yeah, they're going to have their hands full tonight. Wow's a good word. Yeah. So after the Southwood timeout, they've got the basketball going to our right. Pace well, will bring was, it up the floor. That was a tough game last night against Winnemac. Yes. A tough loss, a two-point one in, in overtime. So I could see where they might be a little a slow start for Rochester tonight. Pershing in the corner. Long jumper is no good. And the rebound tipped around. Southwood comes out of the with it. Actually, that was uh, Helfen with the, the jumper. Far. Her pass knocked away. Picked up again by Weathers. Gives to Mo. Morgan runs. Right side to Macy Brown. She'll go all the way to the basket, throws a shot up, no good, but a foul coming on Southwood. Macy will go to the line to shoot two. Very good. That foul is on Helfen, her first team third. Macy will go to the line to shoot two. First one for the sophomore is good. Brown was one of four players in double digits against Culver. Kennedy have five. Right now, yeah. Second one for Moe's, no good. Dahlk was fighting hard for the rebound and just loses it off her fingertips, out of bounds. Well, I don't think Emma, Emma has two points, but her hustle play in this first quarter has yeah. been phenomenal. Right, yep. Pace gets away at the carry, and then she's fouled at the timeline by, I believe, Ruff. We'll wait and see that. 
of that call. That is rough, her first team so, first. So we're getting our updates from Val, who's at LaVille, and in turn, I'm sending her him, uh, re, uh, results from here. So Pace through the center circle, Macy Brown will pick her up at the volleyball line. Pace works to the right wing. Now tries to drive, good defense by Macy Brown, takes her to the left of the volleyball line, the free throw line. Now outside to Farr. Farr then is gonna be fouled by Morgan Ruff, Ruff on the drive. That'll be two. Morgan just seems to be a step slow tonight. And Mo just told Coach Pfluger, I'm good. So it'll be Southwood basketball to bounds right in front of the Rochester bench going to our right. Rochester up by 10 with three and a half to play in the first quarter. Far will look triggered in. Does so in the corner to Laner. Laner against the defense and she throws the ball right into the hands of Dahlquist. Emma is all over the place. Now Mo. Mo pushes. Works right wing to Macy Brown. Back to Mo. Ball loose on the floor. Kennedy loses it. To Laner. Laner will walk in for the right handed layup. We got to be a little stronger than that. Two points for 14. Rochester coming the other way. Now down or up by six. Mo to Musselman. Kennedy at the free throw line. Rises up in the paint. It's good again. 12 4. Rochester back by eight. Under three to play in the first quarter. Laner <laughs> <laughs> uh, high left side to far. I'm getting heckled. Far on the baseline. Outside, ball is almost stolen away by Ruff, but she does knock it out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester on the far, I'm sorry, Southwood on the far side. And McKee back in, and Weathers comes out of the game. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. 12-4 Rochester, 2.40 to play in the first quarter. Long jumper's no good. McKee with the rebound, gives to Ruff. Mo runs, right side of the floor, crosses the right timeline. Right side of the timeline to Macy Brown. Good pickup by Macy, tough pass to handle. Macy around the defense to Mo, left side of McKee from the elbow. Her shot no good. Dahlquist rebound, put back is no good. And Southwood has it now. Laner runs the other way. Laner, right side of the floor. Nice help by Macy Brown. Gives out the pace. Three right wing for the Southwood Knights. No good. Weak side rebound to Farr. She's fouled by Musselman. Farr will go to the line to shoot two. Again, playing volleyball on a basketball floor. Yeah, especially when you got six inches on the girl shooting. She went up to shoot, and Kennedy didn't even have to extend her arm. Her hand was at her shoulder, and then she came down. <laughs> what are we doing? <sighs> After one, LaVille leads Rochester 18-7. Free throw for Farr is no good. And Jenny Isbell comes into the game for Rochester, and Mo will get a break. Get that Randall. Ball game 14, Isbell. Farr's second one is good this time. 12-5, Southwood in the full court press. Macy runs the point, she runs it up the floor. Walks it through the center circle. Now works to the left wing. Now at the free throw line. High on the right side to Isbell. The muscle at the free throw line. Kennedy's turnaround jumper. Good again! And Coach West just looked at his bench, dropped his head, and thought, what are we going to do with her? That's, that's nine from Musselman. All four of her two-point shots have been from the free throw line. High on the left side to Pace. Now to Far. Free throw line to Pershing. Pershing and Isbell, and Isbell just ripped it away from her. And now to Brown. Macy right side of the floor, behind the arc, in have, the corner. I don't have a column for a takedown, but I'll give it a turnover. Musselman three straight away, short. And Rochester almost hauled that loose ball rebound in as Isbell and Brown gave great chase. Maybe what a stuck to shooting it from the free throw line. <laughs> Well, she made one. Yeah. It's Culver. Yeah, one. High on the right side is the Southwood Lady Knights, or all the Southwood Lady Knights, I should say. Laner, 15-footer, is no good. Kennedy with the rebound. Outlets to Macy. A minute 10 to play in the first quarter. Rochester up by nine at 14-5. to five. McKee, left wing, over the top. Has her pass tipped away. Southwood has it going to our right. Far with the basketball. Cross lane pass to... Helfen, and she is fouled on the shot. She'll go to the line to shoot two. McKee will pick up a foul. Be the team fourth. Mays will come back in after the first free throw for the Southwood Lady Knights with just under a minute to play in the first quarter. Rochester up 14 to five. Helfen, a 5'8 sophomore at the line to shoot two. First one is no good off the mark. Mays back in and Pershing to sit. Megan Nile will come back in as well for Rod or come in for the first time for Rochester. And Niall will replace uh, Dahlquist. Nice quarter for Emma. Very nice. Go, 
two points, but the hustle, yeah, the hustle points. Two points and two boards, but she's been everywhere defensively. Second one, no good. Kennedy, another rebound. She loses to Mays, and then it's going to be tied up between Mays and Musselman, and it's going to stay with Rochester. Unbelievable. Full court press for the Lady Knights. Nile looks to get it in. Does so to McKee, to Musselman. Back to Nile. Megan across the timeline and give to Macy Brown between the rings. Macy then is going to be fouled by Laner with 47.7 to play in the first quarter. Rochester by nine. First on Laner. Rochester will trigger it in right in front of the Southwood bench. Gets it in the corner to Isbell. Her 15 footer is blocked. Musselman gets the rebound. The putback is no good. McKee's putback on the way, no good. Isbell with the rebound. Her putback is no good. Musselman with the rebound. Her putback is no good. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Southwood. Man, they are getting destroyed under the basket. No call. <laughs> Guevara comes in for the first time for Southwood. Rochester had four opportunities yeah. there and got mauled every time they got the ball down low. McKee at the free throw line. Down low to Macy Brown. Macy out to Nile. Megan drives. Has her pass knocked away. Picked up by Pace. Pace with the basketball and then has it knocked away from behind by Macy Brown. It'll stay with Southwood baseline right as Karina Peterson will come back into the game for the Zebras. Well, the Lady Knights have nothing to lose. They're going to... Dog whistle as, come back in as well. They're going to be as scrappy as they're going to be allowed to be. And they're going to—they're allowing to be. Yeah. Quick into pace. Her three over Macy Brown is off the glass and in. Four court press by the Knights. Dog whistle looks to get it in. Does the Isbell cross court to Brown? Macy breaks the press, crosses the timeline left with ten. Crossover dribble, works at the top of the key with eight. Back to her left side with seven, loses the handle. The ball loose on the floor, it's going to be tied up, it's going to go to Southwood. Southwood. 4.3. Brown, Brown probably lucky she didn't pick up a foul Yeah, I agree. Southwood has the Rochester lead down to six. With 4.3 to play in the first quarter, 14-8. Rochester's going to have to sharpen up. Pace. Half quarter at before the buzzer, but as it goes out of bounds, it goes out, or it goes off. After one, 14-8 Rochester, you're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions online at evansagencyrochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Kennedy a big quarter in that first uh, first period. Yeah, she had nine, and uh, all of her points saved the, well, even the free throw. All of her points come from the free throw line. <laughs> Good call. Yeah. Peterson will look to inbound. The bigs are getting destroyed underneath the basket. It's tough to rebound against the Southwood team. They're very scrappy. Isbell high on the right side against the 2-3 zone to Macy Brown. Just inside the arc, left wing is off the mark, no good. Peterson put back, no good, and finally a foul underneath, and Karina Peterson will go to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on far, her first, team fifth. Well, I'll tell you what would help out a lot if somebody would put a body on them and block them out. Yeah, that would help. You're right. So Karina Peterson at the line to shoot two for the Lady Zebras, who lead by six at 14 to eight. Karina's first one on the way is good. She'll have one more. Most still on the bench. Got a couple of fouls here that we're trying to nurse our way through. Second one for Peterson. Good again. 16-8. Full court press by the Lady Zebras. Farr gets it in. And a turnover by Southwood as Helfen couldn't save her from going out of bounds. It'll go back to Rochester. Good defense by Macy Brown. It's eight turnovers now for oh, Southwood. They had That matches now. Rochester's first quarter total. We had eight in the first quarter? Yeah. Peterson, left wing to Dahlquist, back to Peterson, and ball stolen Just like by that. Southwood. Yep. 
We can't assume that passing lane's gonna be open. We gotta see the red flash out of the corner of our eye. Ball loose on the floor, we're gonna have a tie up, it's gonna stay with Southwood. Seven and a half to play, first half, 16-8 Rochester. Southwood basketball baseline left. And Pace will come back into the game for Southwood. And coming out of the game is Farr. Mays from 18 feet. Air ball goes out of bounds and go back to Rochester. Full court press by the Knights, I think. Dawkins gets it into Brown. Macy with the basketball, back to Emma. A little token pressure, I think. Emma gets it across the timeline. Now to Macy Brown. Sets up shop in the center circle. Rochester up by eight. Isbell high on the right side to Brown. The ball will almost stolen again. Macy gets it back, and then it's going to be foul. Boy, mm, South Bales are out, out there. Yeah. Helfen is going to be uh, called for a foul, and that'll be the sixth team foul in Southwood. So Rochester from here on out will shoot free throws. That's the second on Elfin. A minute gone in the second quarter. Peterson will look to get it in. Karina looking. Gets it into Macy Brown. Macy runs it across the timeline. Top of the key. High on the right side to Isbell. Isbell, right wing. Now in the corner to Dahlquist. Emma loses the handle. Picks it up now to, uh, to Isbell. To Peterson. Karina drives. Throws up a shot. No good. Muscle in the rebound. She's fouled on the shot. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Six fifty-two to play in the first half. I'm sorry. Fouls on Mays. Kennedy has two. First one for the senior on the way. Ugh. I didn't think it was going to get it had enough to get there. Far. far back in and coming out is Helfen. One more coming for Kennedy, looking to push this lead to ten. Deep breath for the senior. Fires the second one. And it's good again. Rochester's only missed one out of oh, Brad. seven what are eight you free doing? throws in this first half. Way to go. The KOD. It's not like they're perfect. They <laughs> missed one. <laughs> I'm still saying it's the KOD. <laughs> Southwood to the basket. Blocked out of bounds by Dahlquist. It'll stay with the Knights. Uh, that drive was from Laner. And she'll trigger it in baseline right. Laner looking to get it in. Over the top of the defense, ball tipped away, out of bounds by Peterson. He'll stay with Southwood in front of the Rochester bench. Nice job by Karina Peterson by, from recovering from that. Yeah, getting a hand on the ball, knocking it out of bounds. Laner gets it into Pershing, back to Laner. Le a right wing for Southwood. Oh, nice pass, a nice fake. The drive on the way, we're going to have a foul in Muslin. That'll be two, and that's going to send far to the line to shoot two for Southwood. That's the fifth team foul oh, on Rochester. I beg your pardon. I'm call out on Isbell. Isbell. Six and a half to play. First half, Rochester by 10 at 18 8. And Farr, the 5 6 junior at the line to shoot two. First one is no good. Have they hit one yet? Yeah. They're one of five. One more coming for Farr. Second one on the way for the junior is in and out. No good. Musselman another rebound. And Kennedy. Uh-huh. We'll bring it up herself. Now give it to Brown. Macy across the timeline right. Macy drives it to the left. Now back to the right. On the right wing behind the arc. Gives to Isbell. Oh, I thought Jenny was going to pop it. Jenny in the corner. Nice wraparound pass to Dahlquist. Now to Peterson. Layup is short. Oh. Gets a row rebound. We're going to have a tie-up. Rochester going to keep possession. Great What job. a great look by Dahlquist. Well, it's a good pass by Isabel. A wrap around the, the defense down low to Dahlquist. Dahlquist realizing she's double teamed. Got it across the lane to a wide open Peterson. Rochester baseline right. Isbell will look to trigger it in. Up by 10 of the Lady Zebras to Moe, who's back in the game to Peterson. Peterson travels on the drive. Good idea. Pace was coming out to defend her hard. She took a left but forgot to dribble first. Yeah. Little full court Got press by the Lady Zebras. Put it on the floor before you lift that pivot foot. Yep. Laner, six minutes to play in the game. Brings it up against Rochester's man to man press. Pace now against Isbell. Takes it left hard around across the timeline. And Mo picks her pocket. It's a 3 1 break for Rochester. To Peterson. Left hand layup. No. Try the left hand. Laner with the basketball now on the rebound. Against Peterson. Crosses through the center circle. Now brings it to the right wing. Left all alone. She throws it up from 18 feet. It's good. 
Well, on that layup, both those shots by Peterson that she missed, she's too close to the center of the basket. She's got to get a little wider on the lane so she's got a better angle. Well, if she's using her right hand, you're, that's exactly right. Peterson, the dog in the left corner behind the arc. Bounce pass to Mo at her feet. Fortunately, last touch by Southwood. It'll stay with Rochester. That's a tough pass to handle, too. Yeah. Weathers will come back in, and Isabel will sit. Macy Brown will come back in, and Mo will come out. 5.27 to play in the first half. Rochester up 18-10. And Rochester basketball right in front of the Southwood bench going to our left. Uh, Clint Guard, Rochester wrestling coach, going to be with us at halftime. Weathers runs the point against the double team, and Coach Fluger will take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Back at Rochester High School, we have 5.20 to play in the first quarter, on uh, first half, I beg your pardon. Rochester up by eight at 18-10. After their timeout, it'll be uh, their basketball across the court on the sideline. Almost, Peterson, I'm sorry. I was just saying, almost three minutes into this quarter, Rochester still has yet to get a field goal. They got four free throws. Brown, oh, fake to three, and she's going to be pushed. Is that going to be against, is that going to be against far? As much as they let go under the wow. basket, they're going to call that foul? Oh, yeah. That's her second. Oh, good heavens. So Macy Brown, well, I guess we'll take it. Macy Brown at the line to shoot one of the bonus here. Looking to push this lead back to 10. First one for the sophomore is good. So have one more. This is the first time I've seen this crew. Yeah. It would be okay with me if it would be the last time. Second one for <laughs> Brown is no good. Rebound fall for Southwood comes out of there with it. Far with the basketball high on the left side. Now in the middle of the floor at the volleyball line. Works to the right wing behind the three-point line. Now backs it out. Nice defense by Macy Brown. And then Macy Brown is going to foul. foul. Uh, far on the drive, and Charlie Pocock will come in for Rochester. Brown's first foul. Sierra Weathers will get a break. So it'll be Southwood basketball right in front of the Rochester bench going to our right. As Laner will look to get it in, does so to Pace. Pace, ooh, gets away with a little walk. Now to Mar Mays at the free throw line, back to Pace. Three right wing for the Knights is good. You do not want her to heat up. That's her second three of the ball game. And it's 19-13. The inbounds pass is stolen by Southwood. Peterson throws kind of that lackadaisical pass, and it never got to Macy Brown. And then Southwood ties her up. What are we doing? It's Southwood ball. Far. Baseline left for Southwood. Gets it into pace. Three left wing again is air ball. Peterson to the rebound. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Mays. We, got a, we, we need a little sense of urgency going after loose ball rebounds. Yeah, Rochester just seems a little flat-footed here in this, this ball game. Dahlquist gets it into Musselman. Against the full court pressed. Kennedy picks up her dribble back to Dahlquist. Now to Macy. Across the timeline left. Four and a half to play first half. Rochester up by six. Brown in the corner. Loses the handle. Around the defense of Dahlquist. Emma drives it right against Mays. Now on the right wing. All the way around the horn. Picks it up. Now to Macy Brown. Macy, behind the arc on the right wing, drives it left at the free throw line, kicks it out to Peterson. Peterson feeds Musselman, Kennedy in the paint, jumper on the way, throws it off the glass, no good, rebound Southwood. Thanks, she was fouled. Pace, three straight away, nobody in her face, good again. And now is Rochester lead down to three. Pocock gets it to Macy Brown, and Brown brings it up the floor. 19-16. Rochester on top, and another foul coming against Farr. That's three on her. 
3.51 to play in the first half. Rochester leads 19-16. And Brown back at the line to shoot uh, one of the bonus for the Lady Z's. Brown's got two points on two three throws. Macy's ready for the first one. Let's it fly, and it's good. She'll have one more. Looking to push this lead back to five with 3.50 to play in the first half. That's all Rochester's got in this second quarter is six free throws. Second one for the sophomore. Good again as it rolls around and falls through. 21-16, full court press by the Lady Zebras. Far gets it into Pace. Pace crosses the timeline left. Pace inside the three-point line. Out to Pershing. Now to Laner. Now right side to Far. Just inside the arc. Long jumpers in and out. No good. Kennedy, another board. And she's going to be fouled finally. By the Southwood Knights, she'll walk to the other end to shoot two. Foul coming on Southwood. 25. That foul's on Mays, her second. Her second, team 10. 35-18 at the break. LaVille. She did two. At halftime, LaVille leads Rochester 35-18. to <laughs> Kennedy has two. First one for the senior is good. And she'll have one more. Simpson in and Farr comes out of the game for the Southwood Lady Knights. One more for Kennedy, 22-16. Rochester back by six. Kennedy with one more from the free, free throw line. The second one on the way is good again as it rattles in. Rochester 11 of 13 from the free throw line in this ball game. Seven point lead for the Zebras at 23-16. That ball was... Pace brings it up the floor and the push from behind, no call. Again, gets away with the carry. Pace goes all the way to the corner against the double team. And she's on the floor now. Southwood will take a uh, use a timeout. It'll be a 30. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Three and a half minutes to play in the first half. Rochester owns a 23-16 lead. And after the Southwood timeout, they'll have the basketball going to our right, and they'll take it out on the baseline. Simpson to look to get it in for Southwood. Simpson into Laner. Right wing against Charlie Pocock against the man-to-man -man defense. Laner in the paint, goes to the basket, kicks it out to Mays. Ten-footer high off the glass, no good. Simpson the rebound, the putback is no good. Musselman another board. Kennedy with the basketball. Gives to Macy Brown. But you get her off of her. Brown now top of the key, works to the left wing. Now in the corner to Charlie Pocock. Pocock, a couple of dribbles against Simpson. In the corner to Dahlquist. Emma drives the left baseline, throws it up from 10 feet. She's going to be fouled on the shot by Mays. And Emma will go to the line to shoot two. Lost her contact as the finger went in the eye on the shot. So Emma loses the contact. She's going to shoot free throws. With one contact in. This ought to be interesting. Yeah. Fouls on Southwood number two. So the foul's on Simpsons, her first. Hey, I see a 24 sighting right on. <laughs> so we're going to, I think we're going to get some contact solution in that thing as both teams go to the bench. Uh, we'll keep it right here. Maya will check in after the first free throw. With three minutes to play in the first half, Rochester up 23 to 16. Our Rochester, post. All are, Rochester's points in this second quarter have been from the free yeah, throw line. Good thing They've we're got, making them. Yeah, nine of ten in this second quarter. Our posts are getting hammered down low. It's physical. It's a physical game. And I wish I could say that loud enough that somebody could hear that. <laughs> well, I thought that's what the mute button was for. <laughs> I don't want a mute. <laughs> I want somebody to hear me. <clears throat> Three minutes to play in the first half. Rochester up 23-16.
And it looks like the contact situation is taken care of and we're ready to shoot free throws. Anybody gonna get on the line? Nobody on, okay, Peterson, okay. Well, she gets two, so this first <laughs> one's not that big a deal. Uh, you know, that's why I keep you a lot around, Brad. Yeah. You just keep me in check. <laughs> Charlie Pocock steps up on the line. Douglas has two. First one for the South Paul senior. Let's her fly. Uh, no good. Good Lord Almighty. So Maya comes into the game for the first time, the six-foot freshman, and she'll relieve Charlie Pocock. 23-16. Rochester on top, under three to play in the first half. Second one for the senior, ready? Let's her fly, and it's good this time. Eight point lead for Rochester. Rochester in a full court press. Laner, across the timeline against Brown, high on the right side, picks up her dribble. Gonna get some pressure now. Hands off to Simpson, the right wing. Simpson against Maya. Simpson in the paint, throws it right to Kennedy, nice. And she hands off to Macy Brown. Rochester up by eight again with 2.35 to play in the first half. Brown to Peterson. Karina loses it into the hands of Pace. Right away from her. On. Pace across the timeline left. Gets a nice pick from Mays. Travels in the lane. 2.23 to play in the first half. Rochester by eight. They'll get the basketball back. Full court press by... Southwood, Mo comes back in, and Mo will replace Maya. Dahlquist will trigger it in. Gets it into Mo in the corner. Here comes a double team over the top to Dahlquist. Emma, back to Mo. Rochester at the uh, Southwood volleyball line, crosses the timeline in the middle. Mo at the free throw line. Now in the paint, goes to the basket. Rebound, a shot is no good. She gets her own rebound. Morgan in the corner, around to Macy Brown. Macy, three, right wing, is good! That's the first field goal of the second quarter for Rochester. Rochester by 11, biggest lead of the night, with under two to play in the first half. Mays in the right wing, loses it off her foot, out of bounds, and it'll go back to Rochester. Well, that's what Coach West was talking to me in the pregame about. We had so, we've had so many turnovers, game in and game out, and yeah. most of them are unforced. Right, yeah, that's their 12th of the ball game. So Morgan walks it up the floor. 100 seconds to play in the first half. Rochester by 11. High on the right side is Macy. Macy, a couple of dribbles to the three-point line. Around the defense to Mo. Now to Peterson, left wing. Karina holds with the 135 to play in the first half. Dahlquist now feeds and decides to Kennedy. Kennedy throws the shot up. No good. A lot of contact. No foul. Ball loose in the floor. Southwood picks it up. It's going to be tied up. South Rochester will keep it. Baseline left. Hey, you're going to have to fight. They're not calling anything. You're going to have to fight hard. Now Musselman looking to put her contact back in. She didn't stick her own finger in her eye stripes. Uh. Call that. 126 to play in the first half. Rochester up 27 to 6. 16, that is. Macy Brown baseline left. Law pass into Dahlquist. Emma back to Macy. 15-footer left baseline. Good and foul. So Macy will go to the line to shoot one freebie. Brown with nine points in the game, eight of them in the second quarter. So Mays will come out with three fouls. Weathers comes in, Mo comes out of the game. Rochester up 29 to 16, and Macy Brown to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Macy flies the free throw, good. We have experienced a really good first half of free throw shooting. <laughs> yeah. Only missed three. Thankfully. Full court press by Rochester. Inbounds pass goes into Laner. Laner outside now to Pace. Minute 15 to play in the first half. Pace high on the left side for Southwood against Rochester's man-to-man -man defense. Pace against Peterson. Takes her all the way around the horn. And we're going to have, oh, a foul. Peterson bailed her out. Fouls. Peter uh, Weathers so is going to pick up a foul. Be, yep, Weathers. And that's going to send Pace to the line to shoot one of the bonus. And the bonus. That goes both ways, Stripes. 
One ten to play in the first half. Rochester up 30 to 16. Pace at the line to shoot one of the bonus for the Lady Knights. Mo will come back in for Rochester. Pace with 11 for the Lady Knights. And Peterson to sit down. Simpson comes back in and coming out is helping. 70 seconds to play first half. Rochester up by 30 to 16. Pace at the line for one of the bonus. First one for the sophomore is in and out. No good. Kennedy another rebound. She hands off to Mo. Rochester runs right side of the floor. Mo hesitates around the defense. Pace mulls her again. No call. Now to Brown. Brown drives it right. High on the right side to Mo. Oh. Now over to Macy. 50 seconds. Macy, woo, got away with the carry. Backs it out of the timeline. Resets for Rochester. High on the right side to Mo. Right. Look for the last shot here. 40 seconds to play, first half. Rochester by 14. Mo against a double team. Backs it away from the pressure, and the count restarts. Mo drives it left, and Simpson's going to pick up the foul, and Morgan will go to the line to shoot two. It's the second on Simpson. Fouls on two, Simpson, her second. Morgan making her first trip to the free throw line. Coming up at halftime, Rochester Wrestling Coach Clint Gard will talk about today's action with the JV. He had a, a couple of duels this week. Here at home, and they've got a big Jordan Schaefer uh, Memorial Tournament coming up tomorrow. Rochester 12 of 14 from the line Fantastic. In this, just this quarter. Yep. Mo with an opportunity to push this lead to 16 with 34 seconds to play in the first half. Fires a second one. It's no good. And the rebound to Southwood. Oh, Simpson just about got her pocket picked. Right side to Laner. Laner in the corner against Macy Brown over the top. Now back to Simpson. Simpson down low to... Guviera, her shot no good. Musselman to the rebound, hands off to Mo with 17. Mo ahead to Weathers. Weathers backs it out with 13 and loses it out of bounds. Peterson back in, and Mo will come out with two fouls with 12.8 yeah. to play in the first half. Bechtold for Southwood comes in for the first time, and Guviera sits down. 12.8 to play, first half. Rochester up 31-16. Pace against Weathers. Takes her all the way to the three-point line with seven. Still dribbles with five. Around the defense with four. Throws up a prayer with one. Gives it to Dahlquist. Now ahead to Musselman. Half quarter to Buzzer. Is no good. <laughs> At halftime, Rochester leads 31-16. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. We're at halftime. The Lady Zebras lead Southwood right now, 31 to 16. And Rochester wrestling coach Clint Gard joins us here at the break. And Clint, I know we got a couple of things to talk to, and including a big one earlier in the week, and you've got a special memorial tournament coming up tomorrow. Yeah, well, first of all, i got to give a shout-out to the Pifers and the Leaps and the Bickles and um, the Daltons Okay. Um, for, for our Carpenter's Christmas. They told me if I had to leave the Carpenter's Christmas party, I had to come over and give them a shout-out. And did out, not so. bring me one cookie. And I did not, and you know what? We had probably 15 different types of cookies. That is great to know. Thank you. So, um I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you get some stale ones next week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wednesday? So, uh, Thursday. Thursday. Thursday okay. we wrestled, and uh, we wrestled two duels, wrestled West Central and Frontier, um, and had a real nice night. Our kids really, really wrestled hard. I was real proud of them. Um, came away with two big wins. We beat Frontier, I believe it was 60 to 16, and uh, then we beat West Central 51 to 24. So, and West Central's gotten us the last couple of years. It's come down to the last match, and they beat us, uh, I think, two years in a row last match. So it was nice to kind of get them back and um, just get on the mat. Got two, sure. two nice duels in. We were done by 8.30, um, and it was a good night. Our kids really wrestled hard. 
Uh, we had a nice crowd here, uh, great student section, uh, really loud, and our kids really, really enjoyed that. And um, so it was a good night, good atmosphere. And uh, it'll take us into next week. Uh, we, well, today we had some kids at yeah. the uh, JV tournament uh, up at Culver Military Academy, did really, really well. Um, had some wins, had some losses. Can you, know, can those, you give me some names, Clint? Yeah, we had uh, B.J. Barnes and Diego Ochoa, both at 120 pounds. Uh, Waylon Hayes was our 138-pounder. Bryce Lehman was 145. Um, Air, uh, Noah Swango, not Aaron Swango. They, so many Swangos, I can't keep them straight. <laughs> Noah Swango was our 160-pounder, and Anthony Haddon uh, was our 220-pounder. So some valuable mat time for those kids. Sure. Uh, I think Diego only wrestled twice, and everybody else either wrestled three, four, or five times. So, you know, when we send kids to those, uh, even though some of them are in the varsity lineup, we're just looking for mat time and experience. And and uh, from what uh, Coach Roberts and uh, Coach Wee said, they, they were able to get some good experience good. today. So And so next week? Next week we have our TRC, our first TRC quad here. That quad is four matches. Uh, we're going to wrestle Peru, uh, North Miami, and Southwood. When? Uh, Wednesday okay. here at 6.30. Okay. Uh, and we'll have two mats set up, and it'll be our youth night. We're going to bring our youth in and uh, cool. announce our zebra white, zebra black, and zebra gold kids. Uh, so that'll that'll be a good night uh, to recognize the, the little guys. They always love doing that. Um, and then tomorrow, can't skip over tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow yes, is a yes, very yes. special event. Yes. For our wrestling program, it's our Jordan Schaefer Memorial Duels. Uh, you remember Jordan pretty yep. well, I think, yep. from football and wrestling, back, uh, you know, from 20 what 2011 to 2015, yeah, um, or maybe 2012 to 20 when he graduated in 2016. No, I guess he was 2015 grad. Um, so you know, most people know and probably remember. You know, Jordan was a wrestler for me and uh, a very. Uh, we, we became very close just in, uh, you know, working with him and uh, trying to keep him on the right path and keep right. his grades up. And uh, he ended up being a state qualifier, state place winner his senior year, placed eighth, and, uh, you know, really had some good things going and then passed away of, in a car accident uh, right, two months after he graduated. So um, we created this little Jordan Schaefer Memorial uh, Tournament for him. It's an elementary dual tournament. We have ten teams tomorrow. Last year we only had eight, so we got ten teams this year. Coming from all over Indiana, Good. Uh, we got Yorktown, Jay Jeez, County, no Chesterton is our furthest up that direction. Uh, Fort Wayne Carroll's coming, Wawasee. Um, so it's really kind of become uh, a well-known tournament, not only for Jordan's name, but we just run a very good tournament. Sure, we want to do it the right way, and and uh, we kind of we we make a presentation about Jordan and his impact that he had on our, especially our little kids program and. The coaches and the kids and the and the parents of other teams really enjoy that. Clint, tell me again what time that starts. It'll start at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, and we'll I mean it'll wrestle. We'll go 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12. We'll we'll go. We're gonna wrestle five times, and uh, we'll have both gyms going. We got two mats in each gym. Great. And, um, it just goes, and all the money that we raise goes to uh, a scholarship for a graduating senior from our wrestling program, whether they are a wrestler or a manager. Um, and then we also put money towards our little guys that want to go to camp over the summer. And we used, uh, we didn't go anywhere last summer with our little guys, but we brought in a guy by the name of Mike Krause, who uh, was voted by USA Wrestling as the uh, best youth coach in the country. So we used that money and brought him in for two days with our, with our youth kids and our high school kids. And it was, it was probably one of the best clinics I've ever been a part of. So, Is this the only fundraiser you have for that? For the Jordan Schaefer? Yeah. Yeah, we do use a little bit of money from our golf outing uh, if we need to round things out. Like w this year, to pay for Mike to come, we needed a, a few extra hundred dollars from our golf outing. But for the most part, this the Jordan Schaefer Memorial, we use that money for the scholarship and for the, the I guess we call them mini scholarships for the elementary kids to go to camp. And uh, usually what that is is it's $50.00. You know, we give each kid fifty dollars, and that takes the price of their camp fee down. And so, you know, what we're trying to do is build it. Um, so every year we can give the scholarship, and if we have multiple seniors, we can give multiple scholarships. Uh, but at the same time, we want to grow it so that those sure. little kids maybe someday don't even have to pay to go to camp. Great Jordan, cause. Jordan was one of those kids where we were always trying to figure out ways to make sure he could go to camp. Um, you know, mom and dad worked, but nowadays money short in a lot of people's pockets, and. You know, we always had to figure out ways, not just Jordan, but a, a few kids on our pro, in our program where how do we get these kids to camp because there's not money uh, coming elsewhere. Yeah. And so um, we use that to help. And um, 
I think, you know, I think a kid like Jordan who was, you know, he was going to Ivy Tech and he was, you know, gosh, he was probably 16 months away from graduating and being a, going to Purdue as a junior. Uh, you know, he, I think he would have enjoyed just a lot of good things were going. I think he would enjoy something like this and helping the kids, uh, you know, be able to have the same opportunities that he had. He, yeah. he loved little kids. He loved working with our youth program. And uh, we could have done a lot of things to honor his memory. But, I mean, as much as he enjoyed being with our youth, I think this is the best way to do it. So. Well, I, I, I totally agree with that. And with that, I, I'll say thank you for stopping by here at halftime. And, and uh, we'll talk to you here in a thank week you. or so. Yep. And, uh, I know you guys are doing some great things with the high school and the, and the little guys. Open to public tomorrow. Open to the public. Yeah, I I tell you what, I encourage anybody if you're if you're a sports fan or you just want to see what it's like. Uh, you don't even have to be a wrestling fan, but just see what it's like to come in here and watch these little guys scrap. Um, it to you know it's like watching anything youth. You're watching your sport at the very lowest level where it's not about winning and losing. But they just want, they, they're with their team, they're having fun, uh, they're really fighting hard and working hard and trying to please their coaches. Uh, and they're, you know, they don't worry about mom or dad or girlfriends or boyfriends yeah. or yeah. anything else. It's yeah. just about wrestling and about the kids. And I, there isn't really anything more fun than watching that. Sure. You know, and uh, if nothing else, you can come out and watch Declan guard wrestle. That's that's a hoot. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we and we I tell you what, Mus. Here's the other thing. We got a pretty, we got a pretty good youth program. Sure, and, absolutely. And this group of kids is, we got some hammers. And I think if people come out and watch them, they'll have they'll have a good time Very watching good. these little guys go. So, Clint, thank you. All right, Talk thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. All right, Rochester wrestling coach Clint Guard here at halftime. Halftime is about over. We're going to slide Brad in here real quick and give some post game numbers. Well, I guess post first half numbers. Yeah, for uh, Southwood, Pace with 11. Laner with four, Farr with one. They were one of seven from the free throw line with 12 turnovers for the ladies' ease. Dahlquist with three, Peterson two, Ruff three, Macy Brown 10, and Kenny Musselman with 13. The Lady Zebras 14 of 18 in that first half from the free throw line, including 12 of 15 in the second quarter. Starting the third quarter, Southwood will have the basketball going to our left now. Far around the defense, runs right into Musselman on the blocks, out to Pershing. Pershing against Ruff, now to Far. Long jumper is good from about 18 feet, and it's 31-18. After three, LaVille leads Rochester 58-33. 58-33. Peterson with the basketball at the free throw line. Around to Moe, right wing three in the way for the Lady Zebras is off the mark, no good. Nice follow by Moe, rebound to Southwood. Pershing ahead of the defense and Moe's Southwood didn't see him. I think Moe's knee is hurting her a little bit. Shot no good, the put back by Mays is blocked by Dalk, was picked up by Brown. Now Moe, right side of the floor, hesitates around the defense, throws up a shot, no good. Dalk was put back, no good. Fights for the rebound, Macy Brown has it. And outside to Peterson. Karina, her jumper from 10 feet is short. Peter, or make that Dahlquist stays from going out of bounds right into the hands of Southwood. And now we're going to have a uh, foul on Peterson. Peterson. That'll be her first. Uh, varsity girls basketball, Tippecanoe New Valley after one, leading Wabash 16 to six. At halftime, leads Wabash 24-23. Hmm. Full court press by the Lady Zebras. Lemming. Lay oh. oh, Ruff's going to pick up her third foul. The officials just bailed Ro uh, the Rochester out. Moe standing straight, flat-footed. Southwood ran right into her, and Moe's going to be called for the block. She's begging Coach Fluger to stay in the game. Pathetic. That is a really bad Oh, Pershing just about turns it over in the backcourt. That's a really bad call. Pershing in the left corner. Around the defense of the wing. She travels, and it gets away with it. What are we doing? You guys, this jumper, long jumper, no good. Peterson to the rebound, and then is fouled by Pershing. Good heavens. That's the second on Pershing. You're bad. <laughs> Dawk was to look to get it in. Over the top of the defense to Peterson. Peterson across the timeline. Jump stop, hands off to Moe. 
Mo between the rings, works to the left side, high on the right side to Macy Brown, loses the handle, picks it up, and gives it to Moe in the center circle. Back to Brown, high on the left side. Bounce pass to Moe. Man-to-man -man defense by the Southwood Knights. Macy with it, high on the left side. Takes one right in the chin, no call. Now to Macy, now to Ruff. Down little Musselman, Kennedy backs away and throws it up for two and good. 33 to 18. Two minutes gone in the third quarter. Full court press by Rochester. And then Macy yeah, Brown, Brown will push in the back. Whistled for a foul. That's her second. Six oh two to play in the third quarter. Thirty three to eighteen. It'll be Southwood basketball to bounce baseline left. I'm sorry, right from the scores table, and the Weathers will come back in. Weathers replaces Macy Brown, who picks up foul number two. Ruff still. Far will look to get it yeah, in. Ruff still on the floor with three. Yep. Far gets it back from Pershing. Rochester, and now, yeah, now Peterson. Peterson gonna pick up a foul for her. She had her forearm right in the back of Pace. So that's the second on Peterson. 33-18, Rochester on top with 5.57 to play in the third quarter. It'll be Rod Southwood basketball right in front of the scorer's table. Far gets it in to Pace. Pace high on the right side against Peterson. How many fouls to Peterson? Two. Pace all the way to the baseline, pushes off, and they're gonna say. Last touch by Peterson, right, yep. off her foot. And Peterson thinks it's all a Rochester ball, but Southwood going to keep possession baseline right. Pace for three, no oh. good. Musselman another rebound. Kennedy clears the mo. 540 to play in the third, 33-18. Double-double now for Musselman. Mo gets a double team. Bounce pass to Weathers on the near side. Sierra in the corner to Dahlquist. Emma behind the three-point line in the right corner. Dribbles the baseline. Cut off of the defense. Nice skip pass to Weathers. Now to Peterson. Nice hands by Karina Peterson. Kicks it out to Mo. Three. Right wing for the ladies' neighbors. In and out. No good. Peterson. Uh, Weathers put back. Is no good, but a foul coming on Southwood. And good. Sierra Weathers will go to the line to shoot two. Good block out and rebound by Weathers. A foul on Laner, her second. Team second of the half. Megan Nile will come back in after the first free throw. For Rochester, Sierra Weathers at the line to shoot two for Rochester. Her first trip to the free throw line, believe it or not. Lady Zebras leading 33 to 18. First one on the way is good. She'll have one more. So Nile in. And Peterson come out. Sixth different Lady Zebra to go to the free throw line tonight. Weathers with one more. Again, 520 to play in the third. Second one for Weathers on the way is good again as it rolls through. 35-18 Rochester. Little man-to-man -man full court pro token by Rochester. Farr gets away with the carry, drives it to the right baseline, outside to Laner. Her long jumper is no good. Mo grabs the board and loses the handle. Now comes out of there with it. Mo runs with the trailer. And then Farr knocks her down on the floor and then knocks the basketball out of bounds. Gosh. 5.03 to play in the third quarter. Rochester basketball, Weathers looks to get it in. Does so to Moe in the right wing. Law pass to Musselman. Kennedy rises up, jumper is good. <laughs> Rochester now by 19 at 37 to 18. 17 now for Musselman. Laner with the basketball. Brings it across the timeline left. Nile picks it up at the volleyball line. Now left side to Pershing. Pershing with the basketball against Dawkins and almost stole the seal and passed as Weathers, but Pace gets it back. Pace, right corner to Farr. Down low to Pershing. Ball loose on the floor. Musselman comes out of there with it, but laying out of bounds, it'll go back to Southwood or stay with Southwood. 4.35 to play in the third quarter. Rochester by 19, back into the game. It's Helfen. And Helfen will replace Mays in the Southwood lineup. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Farr will look to trigger it in baseline right. Gets into Pershing behind the arc in the right corner. Kennedy begging her to shoot that. Far long three is no good. Good block out by yeah. Dawkins. Grabs the board and gives to Mo. Good job by Emma. Rough through the tie center circle. Left wing now against Pace. Over the defense to Nile. Nile back to Mo between the rings and the volleyball line. Mo works to get some man to man defense. I heard the slap from here. No call. Now to Weathers. Now to Dawkins in the left corner. Dawkins back to Mo. Left wing drives it around the defense and Pace is going to be called for a foul. It'll be Rochester basketball with 4.06 to play. In the third quarter by 19. That's two on pace. Weathers will trigger it in right at the scores table. Weathers. Oh, whew, just about had her inbounds pass taken away. Mo has it now. 
Mo law pass to Musselman. Kennedy rises up. Shot no good. And the rebound tipped around. Ooh, and Pace Weathers. grabs it, but Weathers is going to foul her. That'll be the first on, no, second on Weathers. Under four to play in the third quarter. Rochester up 37 to 18 here at Rochester High School. And their next game will be Thursday night here with Argus, and we'll yeah. have that game for you. Laner against Nile. Laner takes a little left wing to Far. Far drives the left baseline around the pick. Oh, double and dribbles. Double dribbles. Nice job by Emma Dahlquist, who slid and helped. It'll be Rochester basketball again, and Southwood now will be in a full court press. Dawkins looks to get it in. Does so to Weathers right in front of the Southwood bench. Now to Musselman. Kennedy gives back to Moe. Moe across the timeline left. High on the left side. Moe against the double team. I think the 2-3 zone by Southwood. Dribbles away from the two. Now gives to Weathers. Weathers. Woo. Wraparound pass taken away by Southwood. Far gives to Laner. Laner right side of the floor for the Lady Knights. Rochester by 19. Macy Brown will come back into the next dead ball. Far around rough. To Pershing, her long three is off the mark, no good. And the rebound is going to be knocked out of bounds by, knocked off of the leg by Nile, and it'll stay with Southwood. So far doing a good job of chasing that ball down. She knocked it off of Megan Nile's leg. Southwood will maintain possession. After three, Tippecanoe New Valley and Wabash tied at 35. We have Wabash wow. next Saturday. Yeah. Pershing left wing. Gives to Helfen. Her layup is good from the right side. Full court press by the Knights. I think Wabash is one of those dark horse teams this year in the TRC. They're going to surprise some people. Musselman hands off to Ruff. 37 to 20. Rochester up by 17. Late in the third quarter. Under three to play in the third period. Macy back into the game. Sarah Weathers gets a break. Brown around the defense, now to Ruff. Straight away three on the way for the Lady Zebras is off the mark, no good. Macy Brown on the rebound. Put back is no good. Musselman's put back is no good. Her put back is no good. And the rebound to Southwood. Point blank. Laner gets away with the carry. Laner high on the left side. Now left side, far, far. Loses her foot or loses the handle off of her foot out of bounds. Going to go back to Rochester up by 17 or 225 to play in the third. Pretty sloppy quarter here in this third. Full court press by the Knights. Dogwoods looks to get it in. Does over the top of the defense to Ruff. Ruff across the timeline. Rochester the numbers goes to the basket. Finger roll over the front of the rim is good. And it's 41-20. Nope, I'm sorry, 39. The 20, Rochester back up by 19, a 2-12 to play in the third quarter, and then Southwood chucks it out of bounds. Rochester going to get it back. It's their 15th turnover. Southwood in a full court press, and Southwood will use a 60-second timeout. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Rochester guys trailing at LaVille, 58-33. That was probably close to being over. Kennedy gets her first break of the night. Yeah, she's got uh, 17 points and 12 boards. So McKee's in for her. Rochester basketball against the full-court press. Dahlquist will look to trigger it in. Dahlquist, not quite far enough. Macy Brown, good for her, comes back to it. Dribbles around the defense, inside the arc. Now on the right baseline, gives to McKee. Jumper's no good, but a foul coming on Southwood. McKee will go to the line to shoot two. Nice job by Macy Brown. That pass didn't quite get to her. She came back to the timeline for the pass, like a good receiver is taught to do, yeah. and then drew it up the floor, and good wraparound pass to McKee. So Lerner picks up her third. So McKee at the line to shoot two for Rochester. First one on the way for the sophomore is good. Rochester by 20, biggest lead of the night. Randall, timeouts. 
McKee has one more. Second one is good again. Southwood has two timeouts. Rochester has four. 41-20. Rochester up by 21 with under two to play in the third. Left side to Pace. Now in the corner to Pershing. Pershing against McKee. Pull up dribble. Down low to Helfring. Her shot no good. Ball being tipped around. Southwood comes out of there with it. To Farr. Farr has her pass kicked away by Nile. Gives to Ruff. Mo runs. 100 seconds to play in the third. Rochester by 21. Ruff. Right side, goes to the basket, dump pass down low to Dahlquist. Her jumper's good in the foul! Emma Dahlquist now with five. I'm looking to add to it. Rochester with 18 made free throws in this basketball game. Southwood with 20 points. Well, Rochester's just, just about outscored them from the free throw line. They have shot well to this point. Really, really good. Yeah. 18 of 21 from the line to be exact. It's crazy. Crazy good. Dahlquist, free throw. Good as it rolls around and falls through. And it's 44 to 20. I like it. Megan Nile tried to inbound it after the Rochester made free throw. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so Rochester will be in a 1-3-1 half court trap here maybe. Laner has it. Dog was at the top of that 1 3 1. Look out. Laner picks up her dribble, gets a double team. Got to get rid of it. And then McKee steals the basketball. Ball loose, going to be tied up. Rochester going to keep get possession. Yeah, good job by the ladies. These Dog was at six foot, really makes it tough out there. You know, on here's that the difference. Trap. Kennedy's six foot, yeah. but Dog is six foot and athletic. And, well, and quick. Quick, yeah. Yeah. 124 to play in the third, 44 20. Rochester on top, time ticking away here late in the third period. Mo across the timeline, high on the left side to Macy Brown, wide open three, left wing, nope. Rebound, tipped around, ball loose, tied up, Southwood gonna get it back. Rochester fell to LaVille tonight, 71-41. Jordan Reinhold had 27 points. Rest of the Zebras had 15. <laughs> Jeez. Steal by is, Brown. And Macy Brown and has her knocked shot out of bounds. Blocked out of bounds. So again, the final 71 uh, 41. Rochester falls tonight on the road to a really good LaVille team. Final score from LaVille LaVille 71, zeros 41. Macy Brown looks to get it in. Does so over the top to Megan Nile. Her three straight away, no good. And the rebound fall for McKee comes out of there with it. Bounce pass to Dahlquist. Emma backs her way in, throws up a shot, foul on the shot. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Fouls on 25 Mays. Her so fourth. Mays picks up her fourth, team fifth. And Emma Dahlquist will be at the line to shoot two. Karina Peterson will come back into the next opportunity. Dahlquist with six points in the game. Emma's first one on the way is good. I would say water's wet. <laughs> so Mo comes out. She gets a break. Peterson back in. Rochester by 25 here with under a minute to play in the third quarter. Dawkins with one more for the Lady Zebras. Emma fires a second one. No good. And the rebound to Southwood. Pace with the board. Pace right side of the floor, crosses through the center circle. Now right left wing to Laner. Now in the corner to Bechtold and loses it through her fingertips out of bounds. Go back to Rochester. That's 18 turnovers now on the Lady Knights. So Southwood has called off the press, and Macy Brown will walk it up the floor where Rochester will look for the final shot at the corner if they can get it. Brown drives it right against Simpson. Now to Nile in the corner to McKee. Over the top to Macy Brown. Down low to Dahlquist. Emma, jumper in the paint is good. 47 to 20. Nine now for Dahlquist. Laner against that 1-3-1 one, one trapping zone. To Pace. Pace has her pass tip. Simpson will fire a three left wing. Short. Rebound fought for. Peterson comes out of the with it and gives to McKee. Now to Macy Brown. Macy then is going to be called yep. for a charge. Yep, that's her third. <laughs> Macy trying to make a little room for herself on the baseline. 
6.8 to play in the third. Rochester up 47 to 20. It'll be Southwood basketball baseline left as Jenny Isbell will come back in for Rochester. Isbell will replace Macy Brown with 6.8 to play in the third quarter. She comes out with three fouls. Yeah, three fouls and ten points. Three for Bechtold is good. And that'll do it for the third quarter. After three, Rochester leads 47-23. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Peterson, Nile, and Isbell on the floor for the Lady Zebras. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Isbell gets it into Dahlquist. Emma. Cut off by the double team, out to Peterson. Peterson drives it right against Pace, backs it out to the volleyball line, right in front of the Rochester bench. Gonna have to do something with it. And we're gonna have a five second call, whistled against Rochester. Turnover Lady Zebras. That's their 15th. We gotta go towards the basket. 15 turnovers tonight? Yeah. Something they're still gonna need to work on. Pace across the timeline left for Southwood. Rochester up. 47 to 23, 30 seconds gone in the fourth quarter. This is about the best free throw shooting performance I, I think totally I've seen agree. the Lady Z's have in, in a several, long time. several years, yep. actually. Pace around the defense, on the baseline against Dawkins, now against a double team. Loses her footing, gets her footing, and then we're going to have an out-of-bounds call against Pace wow. as Karina Peterson kind of hipped her over there out of bounds, and Rochester going to get it back. Right now, Rochester 20 of 25 from the free throw line for this basketball game. Mo back in, Nile to sit. 7.24 to play in the game. Rochester up 47 to 23. Inbounds pass comes in to Ruff against the man-to-man -man pressure. Ruff against Pace. Brings it up to the floor for Rochester. Walks it through the center circle. Where heels almost yeah, right retouch on the 10-second line. line. Ruff down low to Dahlquist. Turn around, jumper high off the glass and goes in. Dahlquist with 11 now. Three of the Lady Zebras in doubles. A minute gone in the final quarter. Rochester up 49-23. And then the bounce pass is thrown behind the cutting Simpson. Gives to Isbell. Isbell on the baseline. Cut off on the baseline. Over the top to McKee. Now gives to Mo. Mo had a wide open three, but gives down to McKee, and she loses it through her hands. Isbell picks it up and brings it outside and throws, her, throws it away to Bechtold. Deck told for Southwood, left wing, throws up a three, left wing is short. Isbell, nice rebound, grabs the board and gives to Mo. Good block out and a good rebound. Mo ahead to Dahlquist. Emma under the backboard, gets it just off the rim. The McKee put back is good. I got to tell you, I'm surprised Emma's shot was even against the rim. <laughs> right. She was so far under the, the basket. She really had to lean back to get that up to, to slide up the glass. <laughs> Two minutes gone in the fourth quarter, 51-23. Simpson out to Laner from the elbow left. Her jumper on the way is no good. Rebound to Peterson, and we're going to have a foul on Pace. Pace will pick up her third. And Peterson will walk to the uh, other end and shoot one in the bonus. Fouls on Southwood 10, Pace. Her third team. 51 23, six minutes to play in the game. And Coach West makes a line change. Peterson with two points. Emma oh, comes out. Throws. Very good. Yeah, great game for Emma. Claire Bright comes in for the first time for Rochester. So Peterson the line for one of the bonus for Rochester. Six minutes to play in the game. The first one is on the way. It's too hard. And the rebound to Southwood. Far with the basketball. She'll run the point for the Knights. Through the center circle. High on the right side. Around the defense. Goes all the way to the baseline. Outside to Bechtold. Now to Simpson. She loses the handle. Picked up by Isbell. Isbell, right side, wrap around, pass to Mo, right-handed layup is good. 
Moen doubles? Nope, she's got seven. 53-23. Simpson with the basketball. Between the rings, runs a point for Southwood against Isbell. And the ball is tipped off of the hip, and nope, the ball kick kicks it out of bounds. bounds. <laughs> Peterson and, and Ruff both there to pick up the loose ball, and, and uh, they each thought the other one was yeah. going to grab it, and Mo ended up kicking it. 5.26 to play in the game, 53-23, Rochester by 30 here at Rochester High School. Again, next action will be Thursday night as Rochester will host the Argus Lady Dragons in a, a, a game that will play Argus for the first time in I've never seen Argus right? Yeah, uh, in girls basketball, and I've been doing this a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Peterson picks up a foul, and Farr will go to the line to shoot two for, uh, is it two or one of the bonus? Uh, one of the bonus, two, two shots. Oh, okay. So Farr's first one on the way is good. Charlie Pocock comes back in, and Peterson will sit. 5.18 to play in the game, 53-24. Rochester on top. Second one is good again by far. Isbell will look to get it in. Does so to Mo. Full court press by Southwood. And now Southwood calls it off, and Mo will walk it up the floor. She'll walk it right through the center circle, going to our right. And Simpson will pick her up there. And she bounces it off of Simpson's leg and out of bounds. It will stay with Rochester at the timeline and the scores table. Well, Pocock will look to take it out. Gets it into Mo. Three minutes gone in the final quarter. Rochester up 53-25. Mo backs it out to the volleyball line. Splits the double team in the paint. Jump pass to McKee. Ball loose. Mo picks it up. Puts it up. No good. Rebound fall forward. We're going to have a foul on, believe, on Mo or Claire Bright. Did he point at Mo? Nope. Nope. Claire Bright. Fouls on number 42, Bright. So Bright gets first. first. Teammate. Guevara at the line to shoot uh, one of the bonus for Southwood. Just under five to play in the game. Guevara's first free throw is no good. Isbell, another board, gives to Mo. 4.45 to play in the game. Rochester up 53-25. Mo drifts to her left against Simpson. Now the three-point line. Goes around the defense, goes to the right wing, gives in the corner to Charlie Pocock. Her three on the way is partially blocked, and McKee with the rebound. Ball loose. Morgan picks it up. High on the left side for Rochester. No down low to Bright. Her layup is good and a foul. Nice look by Morgan Ruff, and Claire Bright got it to go and hacked in the act, and she'll go to the line to shoot one. The foul's on far, her fourth. Her fourth teammate, Adeline, shooting one, Bright. We got to be close to getting everybody in the book, yeah. Well, yeah, there's three or four yet. Bright's free throw is in and out and back in. 56 25. 24. 24. Simpson across the timeline. Isbell takes it left to the left elbow. Out to Bechtold. Bechtold against Ruff. Guevara. Dumps down low, ball tipped away, and McKee, McKee has it. it. McKee in the breakaway layup. Right-handed layup is no good. The putback by McKee is good in the foul. Yeah. McKee now with six points in the game. Four here in this uh, quarter. I've got a substitute that I don't have at 33 on my roster. McKee's free throws off the back of the rim, no good. And Guevara for Southwood of the rebound. Four minutes to play in the game, 58-25 Rochester. Simpson between the rings. Maya will come in at the next opportunity. Simpson left elbow, and then is going to be fouled going to the basket by Isbell, and that's going to send Simpson to the line to shoot one of the bonus. With 3.54 to play in the game, Maya Musselman comes in for the uh, second time tonight, and Mo is done. Two on Isabel. She didn't quite get the double tonight, but she did so much more than that. Yeah, a lot of assists tonight for Morgan. Simpson's free throw is good. She'll have one more. 
Post game, we'll have Coach Lisa Fluger, and I think that Coach Chad West is going to come up and talk to us in the post game as well. Simpson, second one. Good again, nothing but net. 58 27. Meyer now runs the point. Lord help us. <laughs> Maya gets away with the double dribble. Bl shot is blocked. Claire Bryant runs down the loose ball rebound, and now we're going to have a travel. I'm not exactly sure what Maya was doing there. I don't know if she was passing or shooting. Either way, it looked bad. <laughs> 3.43 to play in the game. 58-27. Rochester on top. Beck told against Pocock. And then a 23 with jumper that. goes in. I don't have her in the best word book. 58, 29, three minutes to play in the game. Musselman with the basketball against Simpson. Musselman has her pocket picked out of bounds. Last touch by Simpson. Maya got away with the foul, too. Might want, might, we might want a little more want to. Nope, over and back. No, she can do that. She can take the. Her front foot came down in the front court, and then she stepped backwards over. Uh huh. 3-12 to play, 58-29, Rochester. South with the basketball going to our left. Simpson drives it hard to the left elbow. Cut off by the defense. Beck told three, left wing, no good. And the rebound to Bright. Bright gives off to Maya now. Muscle will bring it up the floor on the run. Walks it, works against Simpson, takes it to the left side. In the corner to Pocock. Charlie, one dribble to her left. Now on the wing, right in front of Coach Fluger. Crossover dribble gives to McKee. McKee to Bright. Bright goes to the basket. Jumper off the glass, nope. And the rebound to Southwood. 2.40 to play in the game. Simpson takes it all the way to the left elbow. Out to Bechtold. She travels, no yeah, call. Backs it out behind the three-point line to Simpson. Simpson drives it right. Gives to Guevara. 3.20 to play. 2.20 to play, that is, in the game. Rochester up 58-29. Guevara behind the arc, top of the key. Out of Simpson. Simpson in the paint. Nobody picked her up. Foul on the shot. She'll go to the line to shoot two. McKee picks up her second foul, but nobody picked up Simpson until she got down low on the block. 2.15 to play in the game. Rochester by 29 here. And Simpson at the line to shoot two freebies for the Lady Knights. First one's off the back of the rim, no good. Again, Rochester back in action Thursday night. Home with Argus. Lady Dragons coming to town. Then Friday we are at... Uh, West Central for the guys, and Saturday we're at Wabash for the girls. Second one is good this time. Last we heard, Wabash was giving Tippecanoe New Valley girls everything. Yeah, they last we heard it's 35-35. Now they're in oh, overtime. Wow. Musselman against Simpson drives it left. Dump pass down low to McKee. Her jumper's good. Nice look. Nice finish. McKee with eight now. 30-point lead for Rochester. A minute 50 to play in the game. Southwood has it high on the right side. Works it to the left wing. Hands it off to Bechtold. Bechtold around the defense. Bounce pass to Simpson, and she's fouled by Ch Pocock. 100 seconds to play in the game. Rochester going to improve their mark to 7-3 and 3-0 and three and oh in the TRC. Sets up a big, big, big matchup on Saturday. Yeah, Will with Wal Wabash. Wabash is in uh, overtime right now with Valley. Which that'll be if Valley gets beat, that'll be their first loss in the TRC. In like 10 years. Yeah, I was just going to say. Yeah, it's probably been since uh, this you four me. years anyway. Sends us a one more. Second one for the junior is no good. Rebound to McKee. And McKee gives to Maya. Meyer runs around Simpson. Goes in the right corner to Pocock. Down low to McKee, and she's going to be found by Gavea. And McKee with an opportunity here to get in doubles, and she's going to the line to shoot two. Uh, maybe one, yep, two shots. Yeah, she's got six in this quarter, eight in the ball game. So, Kenzie McKee at the line for two freebies. First one on the way is good. She's got nine. One more young lady. Look deep. Look behind you. 
McKee with one more. Fires a second one. No, no good. The rebound to Gavea. Out to Bechtold. Bechtold around the defense. Left wing, a minute 20 to play. 18-footer on the way is off the mark. No good. Charlie Pocock, a nice rebound, and grabs the board, gives to Maya. Musselman brings it up the floor. The minute 15 to play in the game, 61-30. And the pass is knocked out of bounds by Southwood. It'll stay with uh, Rochester on the far side. Three and doubles. Couple knocking on the door. Yep, yep. Minute nine to play in the game. Pocock gets it into Musselman. Maya with the basketball, runs a point against Simpson in the man-to-man -man defense. 2-3 uh, zone, maybe. McKee at the left elbow. Gives back to Isbell. Behind the arc, left wing. And throws it right in the hands of Southwood. 52 seconds. 61-30 Rochester. Time taken away here in the ballgame. Simpson at the volleyball line. Holds with 45. Drifts to her left with 43. Now takes it right with 40. And she is found on the shot by Bright. And that's going to send Simpson back to the line to shoot two. Bright will pick up her second. Fouls on Zebras. Number 42, Bright. Her second. At the line shooting two. Number two, Simpson. 40 seconds to play in the game. Simpson back at the line to shoot two for Southwood. First on the way is off the back of the iron. No good. One more coming. Simpson, a 5'3 junior for the Southwood Lady Knights. Manchester, whoa. Manchester defeats Northfield tonight, 38-27. Are you kidding me? It's up boys or girls? Girls. Girls, wow. Second one, no good. Musselman at the rebound. Yeah, we were thinking Northfield was going to be one of those other teams that could give uh, Valley yeah, a challenge. Well, well you, when you talk conference, yeah. the first two teams you think of is Valley Northfield. Isbell shot no good. Southwood with the rebound at 24. And now, you know, Valley's in a tie game in overtime with Wabash. So yeah. What, do you, you know? what is this world coming to? <laughs> Bechtold to Simpson with 15. Around the defense with 13. Goes to the basket. Blocked by McKee. I wonder if 44 is taking note because McKee just stood there and with yeah, her hands straight up. Didn't try to swat it. Four seconds, three seconds, then I'll do it. The final, 61-30. Rochester wins one here at home against... Southwood Knights post game show coming up next 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4.